Aloha, all, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm Paper Mario Guy, and this is episode number 68. In the last episode, we left off in a hole, and we're going to crawl out of that very hole in this episode. And that's all we're going to do, so uh, see you guys later. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, anywho. So now this is the beginning section of the, uh, uh, what is it called? The Spirit Temple. Which is a fantastic temple, and probably my favorite temple, uh, for a multitude of reasons. Uh, one being, one being that it just, I don't know, it just, uh, I don't know, I just, I, I just find it fun. Like, it's just, uh, it, like, the fact that you could play, oh, yes! Oh, that was a double, that was a double kill. Uh, but, like, alright, I need to get out something that, you know, actually is going to benefit me like uh this um but one of the reasons i like it is just because uh you know it has like, both uh you know kid and adult parts and i think that's pretty cool um kind of innovative but uh that's not the only reason i just i, I like the general out oh hello i just like the general uh atmosphere of it all um I don't know. Just the the atmosphere of it is just like, oh, you lock on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so that Stolfos just killed himself. Now we have to kill this green bubble. But um, like I was saying, the atmosphere is just kind of awesome. I just like, you know, pretty much everything about it. It's just, no, it's just fun. Um. And that, that's, that's really what it boils down to. It's like, I, I don't really need to explain, you know. It just, it's just fun. Like, it doesn't necessarily have to be the most innovative or, you know, inventive. It's just, I can enjoy this every, almost every time I play it. So, you know, that's why I like this. And that's all I'm going to say on it. Um, but uh, I believe this is a key. Um, and as you see with those, uh, those keys, um, they're on fire. Okay, I thought that was a key. I guess it's just a blue ruby. Um, but those keys were on fire, so if you have, like, your, uh, um, oh, ow. If you have your, uh, Deku shield on, or Deku shield on, then, uh, you know, there's a very good possibility that you are going to get, uh, that shield disintegrated. But anyway, used in fire, you can take out this guy pretty easily. Um, that's generally how I take him out. I don't really know. I don't think I've ever actually taken him out any other way. Could be wrong, but, uh... Anyway, let's hit this. And I don't know what that does. Oh, that creates a firewall. Alright. Don't want a firewall. Um, so... Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> I didn't know that created... Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Alright, I'll be sure to do that. But, um... Uh, I guess I should probably take care of him first, actually. Okay, fall down. Alright, now, now I have to just destroy you. Alright, there we go. So he goes down, one, two, three, and what is this I hear? What is this I see? A gold sculptula. So we only have 12 more of those left. Um, so we're pretty much wrapping up, you know, everything at this point. But, uh, we still have a uh, bit of a ways to go. Now, this, as you may, you know, like, it looks like, you know, there would be something behind it, but there's not. Um, so it's kind of weird. I don't know why they would, like, put a carpet there if there's nothing there, but I don't know. I am not a developer at Nintendo, so I do not like those types of things. Um, so anyway, uh, what have you guys recently been playing? Like, what types of games, you know, have you been, uh, recently, uh, you know, indulging in? Um, I mean, obviously, I've been indulging in some, uh, Ocarina of Time recording-wise, and obviously Sly Cooper as well. Um, but as far as other things that I've been playing recently, well, I've actually been playing Metroid Prime for the first time. Um, and it's a fantastic game. I like Metroid Prime. Um, okay, you want to hit it? Uh, and I never really, you know, gave credit for, you know, how awesome it was. But it really is. Um, it, it, you know, it's, I can see why it got, you know, such high reviews and, 
and all the praise that it's gotten in, in you know, the past. So, I've really been enjoying that. I've also been playing Secret of Mana. Um, that's a fun game. Um, okay, I think you need to use Dinfire here again to activate these torches. Um, but I've been playing Secret of Mana as well for the first time, and that game is, uh, is also really fun. Um, and then, where did it, where did it spawn? Oh, over here. Oh, that's why they put it there. Okay, just so you can kind of have a reference point. But, and then, um, the third game that I've been playing recently is Super Mario Galaxy. So, all three of those, well, maybe not, with the exception of Secret of Mana, I guess. Um, so two to three of those are, you know, kind of mainstream. But, uh, you know, I've never played any of them before, you know, the, the current playthroughs that I'm going through. And I have to say, like... I don't like, they're all really fun, so those are some, uh, you know, fun games that you should check out. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, leave a comment. What have, what have you been playing? Because I'm interested to see, you know, what types of, uh, games my viewers play. Mainstream, indie, you know, doesn't matter. Oh, and I've also been playing some, uh, Halo Reach. You can't, you know, exclude that from, you know, my list of games. I've been playing a lot of Halo Reach lately. A lot more than I have since it came out, at least. Um, and that game, as always, is kind of fun. And one that I would suggest you checking out. But here we go with another um, gold sculptula, or scutula, as a lot of people seem to call it. Although, I don't really know why. Because, to me, it doesn't... Scutula doesn't sound right. But there's our second gold sculptula of this uh, dungeon. And there are three as a kid just like all the other dungeons, and then there's five as an adult, just like, you know, again, all the other dungeons. Um, oh, you. Um, so actually, it's funny because these Bonglachus actually wound up, uh, um, working out for me, because as you can see, there's a wall up here that you need to blow up, and you can only blow it up with, um, Bonglachus, I think. I'm having a difficult time doing that. Um, throw it straight. Okay. Here we go. There we go, finally. Thank you. Alright, so that basically um, unveils some light, unlocks the door, and we're just gonna skip past those uh, Liz, Liz. I don't know what they're called. I, I don't know why I'm thinking like Liz Alphos, like, but I, I, I almost guarantee that that's not right. Um, up here is a another gold sculptula that I don't think we can... I think uh, we should be able to get it, but... I don't know. Can I reach that? We'll see, hold on. Uh, you know, I better get it now if I can. Um, so kill it. And now that it's killed, let's see if we can actually get it. I don't think we can. Uh, it's not looking too hopeful. Um, we're gonna give it a few more tries, and if not, then... Oh, uh, that definitely looks like I can, too. Come on. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but... Because, like, I, I could totally see that, like, if you had a hook shot, like, you could do it with the Scarecrow song. Um... Oh, wait. Alright, we'll just play that then. See if a scarecrow does pop up. I, I'm, I don't think I'll be able to do anything with it. But yeah, of course. So, we cannot do anything with this right now, it looks like. Um, so, we're just gonna go down here and see what else we can do then. Um, now... Ah, uh, no, seriously. If you can't get credit in my store, you can't get credit anywhere. But, uh, you guys probably don't understand what I'm talking about, but, so, I'm just gonna stop. Um, so, again, Din's Fire becomes a, uh, vital point. Um, like this, and it actually brings you, I think this might bring you into the main room. No, 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 it spawns a treasure chest, which has the map in it. Um, so now we'll have the map for when we're an adult as well, so we don't have to come back and do this over again. Which is swell, because who wants to, you know, go around searching for the map? 
Um, now as far as getting back up, um, goes, yes, there's a wall over here that we can scale, and we actually, to, we actually need to push this guy, I was wondering why this guy was here, we need to push this guy on the switch, so, progress as usual, politics as usual, uh, again, referencing videos that I'm sure none of you guys have seen, so you guys don't get the joke, and then I just look stupid, and I really want that school chiller. Uh, that aggravates me, but we'll just get it when I guess I'm, uh, a, an adult. So here we have this room, um, this room's pretty stupid, uh, there's a lot of, uh, silver rupees that we have to get, and a lot of, uh, Beemos that we have to kill, so let's do so. But, um, I don't know, I don't mind BMOs too much, or I could just be in the mood that I'm in. I have my, like, my door cracked, or my window cracked open, and I, there's quite a cool breeze coming in. So I'm feeling quite comfortable, right, as of right now, as I am recording. And that's always nice. Uh, I love being comfortable when I record, because sometimes I record just because, like, I know that if I don't record, I'm not going to have an episode, so I may not be comfortable, or, you know, there might be, like, some loud work outside going on, so I have to, like, shut my window, and then it gets really hot inside, um, and recording in discomfort is not, I mean, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but you're not going to be, you know, as into it as you, perhaps you would be otherwise, so for me to be comfortable right now. It's always good. I don't know why I threw that boomerang, but we can actually get that silver rupee. So let's climb up here and get the final silver rupee, and now we're good. So it activates the light, and as you may have seen, there are some a uh, torches that you have to light. Um, there's only three. There's one in this corner. Let's light it. One in this corner over here, and then around this back area there is another torch and then actually that just that just spawns a key not necessarily a uh i i forget what i said it spawned but whatever i said it spawned oh the light it doesn't spawn the light obviously but uh the kids section is kind of actually short um i i don't think there's much after this room actually this may very well be the last room in fact um, so, like, the, the kids section really is, uh, quite short, and you, you shouldn't really have too much, too many problems with it. It's kind of linear, like, there's only uh, so much that you can do. Uh, and if I was able to get that stupid sculpture, I'd have everything done, you know, on my first, like, way through. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, and you can't always uh, expect to have everything. Um... Oh, wait, maybe that was an adult one, because this might be the kid one, the next kid one. Actually, so I think I did get everything on my first run through. Sweet. Alright. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time for the cutscene that's coming up, or the- maybe- maybe the battle, but not the cutscene, I don't think. So, there's our third, uh, Sculptula, and I don't know if it pops up and says that we have- uh, nah, because there's eight. Um, so, yes. Um, now we're gonna go in here. Oh, wait, I forgot to grab the key like an idiot. Uh, okay, I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab this key, and then I'm actually going to call it quits for this episode, just to play it safe. And in the next episode, we will, um do some things and some stuff, and it will be quite exciting. Because I think this is actually only our first or second encounter with the person that we are going to be facing. But I don't want to give too many spoilers, even though it's not really this. But now that we have the key, we can head over to this room, unlock, or open that door, climb up this staircase, narrate like we're in a baseball game, and then say goodbye, because I'm going to end the episode here. So until the next episode, where we I open this door, um, I'm Paper Mario Guy of the Koopa Ninja Bros. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next.